to record a pace car go to cars users and then go to set up pace cars we need to set up a new pacer so we could write in the track name if we wanted to here we then enter the pacer's name this is the most important one the default throttle value that's the throttle value that it returns to whenever there's a D slot set that to 23 the value until start you can have that different to the default throttle value if you like we're then going to save that paste car and then we're going to load our existing paste cars so now we can see we've saved that the Lambo is existing so Lambo and load now I'm going to record this one without using a controller so the car is on the track it is ID to controller one to worry about this chosen profile because we're not using a controller then press on the on and the car will go around the track you can see that it's recording here at 23 watch it go around no tail slide and that's the recording done if we click on test pace car and turn it back on we'll see the car go around the track lap times it's doing are here 8.834 for that particular lap now if we're happy with that lap we can just stop so that's the time that it'll be aiming for if we had the auto correct on now we can alter that time if we want we can make it change jump up by 10 me, um, milliseconds 8647 so that will do us Okay, we'll save that pace car. Name already exists, we're going to overwrite that and then we're going to exit that screen. We've got the pace car turned on, ID1, which is what the pace car is actually ID2. We choose Lambo, recorded. I'm not going to do autocorrect for this one. And then I should be able to go into the practice qualifying screen and the car should start off. There's the target time we're looking to get to. It's 8.647. Lap time of 8.729.